how can we create praladas among our uh, children that is my issue no okay. kindly Very important question the well, first thing is that we can't create anyone we can only facilitate right, right. Our, our children are we have to be very careful how we parent sometimes parents think that you know, children are like clay and i will model them into whatever shape i want well i think the clay metaphor is is a little dangerous metaphor because the children are not like clay children are like seeds and you cannot right. make a mango come out of apple seed you cannot make rice come out of a wheat seed so the idea is we cannot we cannot mold our children into the image we want them to it is that right. we have to understand what seed is there over here we have to understand who they are and help them develop to become the best they can be that's important if we have a metaphor that i will make my children like this that itself is operating on a platform which is which is uh, which is philosophically imprecise and uh, yes practically it can be quite alienating because our children may see our children need to feel that we care for them they sometimes feel we care only for controlling them okay If that is happens then they become very alienated so that is so bhakti and growth in bhakti is a multi lifetime process and right. everybody will take it up at the same pace so we even in parenting also certainly we that aspiration is very good and it's very laudable that we want our children also to grow and become wonderful devotees at the same time the bhagavad gita tells us karman ne vadhikar aste ma phaleshu padachana we don't control the results so if our children are not becoming devotees uh, then we shouldn't see that as a personal failure i did my part okay. Maybe i could have done something more because once we start thinking of it as a personal failure then we start becoming uh, either hyper controlling or we overreact and then that alienates the relationship further so okay. they will grow on their own they have to choose their path in life we can only help them choose we cannot make them choose a particular path having given that caveat yes of course m- my understanding would be broadly three things one is that we give them education that means right. not just the classes for adults will be different classes for children will be different you have some facility where children according to their age get some knowledge about krishna when they're small they might just memorize some gita verses as right. they get a little older they they may hear some krishna uh, they may not just hear krishna stories but also understand some krishna wisdom so sometimes what happens for children is that we just presume they know the truth they know the philosophy because they're going up in a devotee family they've heard so many classes but what happens is often the classes that we hear may be a bit too advanced for them i am i was staying with one prominent devotee preacher in america and i was staying there for a few days so i started talking with his son and eventually he opened up and he said is there any proof that god exists and then i started telling him several proofs he said hey. then he started refuting all those arguments he had read some things on the internet and this then i uh, offered responses to those so what happened is we have certain certain standard arguments and i think have refutations to those arguments now of course we can refute their refutations but what happened is he didn't feel confident he said that he felt that if i ask my father what is the existence of god he says what kind of question is this you are my son and we are great we are devotees yes so he he couldn't even he didn't have the confidence that he could ask this question to his father so the philosophical education not just devotional education but philosophical education is important so education and okay. then the second is facilities facility means that that it's not just this is the right thing to do so this is the relishable thing to do there need okay. to be forums where children can get along with other children who are also devotionally inclined and have a good time uh, there was a recently I was in an interfaith meeting virtually there was this this christian pastor he told about some survey he said that people were asked in america what what is your conception of a priest they asked basically college students what is your conception of a priest and the reply or at least one particular reply he said a priest 
is someone who is constantly worried that someone somewhere is having some fun <laughs> <laughs> so their idea is that these people are all kill joys they're all spoil sports everything that we enjoy they tell us don't do it yes so we need to actually be able to facilitate our children so that they experience the joy of bhakti not just right, the right right don't do that i think that's very important yes so now how do we do that there could be kirtan there could be music there could be dramas the children come and dress in various ways and perform dramas so we have to we have that's why the culture of krishna consciousness comes in culture is not just about rules the rules are important but the rules are meant to be roads to a destination and the destination is experience of higher happiness so we need to provide yes. facilities for children to experience the joy of bhakti right third is our personal example no example means what it is not just that we practice bhakti strictly and they see our children when they see that we are practicing bhakti strictly is that's important if we are not we are not practicing bhakti say if we are wasting a lot of time watching tv and we tell our children don't watch tv well why oh that's maya well then what are you doing what are you doing when i am not when you think i am not seeing so its example does it, of course it means practicing bhakti but more importantly example means that they should feel that by this practice of bhakti my pa- my father or mother has become a better father or mother they care for me more now i know i was with one another devotee's family and this uh, daughter she was a teenager she started talking with me and her, her mother had become a devotee about 3 3 and a half years ago and she told me that that i feel as if krishna has entered into our life as a competitor for my mother's love okay my mother is spending so much time with krishna she has no time for me <laughs> now the mother may say i am modeling serious devotion but the daughter thinks that oh you know you are just doing your own thing and you stop caring for me that shouldn't happen so example doesn't just mean we practice bhakti sincerely but also yes. it means that yes yes they or that they their children should feel that we actually uh, have become a better parent because of our devotion when they see that oh then this is what this is how i want i want to reciprocate i want to do this also so broadly these three things we can do you no know, first is we can't first is of course we can't control we can only guide It's yes. not the clay metaphor, but the seed metaphor, and within that, we can educate, we can facilitate, and we can model. Okay. 